Okay. While Chinese humanoid robots are still fumbling around with flashy energy-draining demo moves and collapsing the moment the battery runs out, Elon Musk is focused on turning the Tesla bot into a machine that can work non-stop, 24-7, without breaks and without dying after just a few hours. Like, if, if I, Optimus, I think, probably achieve 5x the productivity of a person per year because it can operate 24-7. Um, it doesn't even need to charge. It can operate it tethered, uh, so it's, it's plugged in the whole time. According to Elon Musk, Tesla Bot Gen 3 can work at five times the productivity of a human, cooking, cleaning, caring for people, assisting the elderly, and handling a long list of complex tasks that Chinese robots might need another decade to catch up to. But that level of capability also means Tesla Bot requires far more advanced engineering, especially in its battery pack, because that's the core energy source that keeps the robot running for hours at a time. Most people don't realize this. But inside Tesla, bot are hundreds of actuators, big and small. Every step, every movement burns a significant amount of energy. The heavier the robot, the more energy it drains. That's why most China bots run out of battery so quickly. They're simply too heavy. With Tesla Bot Gen 3, however, Musk says it now uses one of Tesla's best battery technologies, with a significantly larger pack that lets the robot operate much longer before it needs a recharge. 14 hours of continuous work is something no other humanoid robot on Earth has ever achieved. Tesla set the record and they're already working on breaking it again. So the question is, what can Tesla bot actually do for humans during those 14 hours? And how game-changing is this new advanced battery pack? Let's dive in and find out. For the past week, the whole world has been buzzing about Elon Musk's extremely wild claim that work will become more optional and money will lose its meaning because of AI. Yeah. That basically means AI and robots could make money irrelevant, humans won't have to trade their health for income, and having a job won't be mandatory anymore. If today you have to grow vegetables and sell them to make a living, then in the future, robots will grow the vegetables for you and automatically sell them, you won't have to do anything at all. In short, robots will handle every physical labor job, and humans will only have one job left giving orders and managing the system. That's exactly why Elon Musk suddenly shifted Tesla from an electric car company into a heavily robot-focused company. He has poured billions of dollars into humanoid robot development and keeps pushing more money into AI technologies to speed up the timeline. And let's be honest, when the richest man in the world spends billions on something, he's not doing it for fun. He's not stupid. He doesn't throw money at projects with no chance of massive returns. And Tesla Bot Gen 3 is the one thing we should all be paying close attention to because it has the potential to fundamentally change how humans live. Poverty, exhaustion, not having enough money, all of that could disappear. But actually, Optimus will actually eliminate poverty. Optimus will actually give people incredible medical care. So uh, the, 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 the scale of, of, of Optimus, like I said, that's really going to be something else. Um, I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. Yeah. So. Like, bigger than cell phones, bigger than anything. Okay, what do you think about a robot that can handle multiple tasks nonstop for 14 hours straight? And you don't even have to worry about charging it, because it can recharge itself. Sounds pretty insane, right? But that's exactly what Tesla has upgraded in its newest generation robot. When Tesla first unveiled the very first Optimus prototype, it only had a 2.3 kilowatt hour LFP battery pack. Since it was just an early proof of concept to kick off the project, Tesla didn't invest too heavily in the pack. It was basically just enough to let the robot perform a few simple movements. By late 2023, Tesla introduced Optimus Gen 2 with major improvements in appearance and performance. This version could perform more refined actions and tasks, proving that Tesla was genuinely serious about humanoid robots. However, the battery pack still didn't change much. Tesla only slightly increased the capacity from 2.3 kilowatt hours to 2.5 kilowatt hours. That might be partly because Tesla reduced the weight of Optimus Gen 2 from 160 pounds down to 138 pounds. A lighter body means the robot consumes less energy to move and perform tasks. But the most important thing is this. Gen 2 was still an experimental prototype, not a commercial product. Elon Musk even said Tesla wouldn't mass produce the Gen 2 version. So we made radical improvements to the design of Optimus um, while increasing the functionality but making it actually possible to manufacture. Like I'd say Optimus 2 is 
almost impossible to manufacture, frankly. The gold-colored Optimus units we've been seeing over the past year were actually upgraded to version 2.5. The design changes were minor, and the battery pack stayed the same. These versions only seemed smarter because their internal AI systems received major upgrades. The real battery breakthrough happened when Tesla moved to Optimus Gen 3. Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla will use the 4680 battery cell in a robot for the very first time, and the pack size could jump to around 6 kilowatt hours, allowing it to work for a full 14 hours without needing a recharge. On top of that, Optimus Gen 3 looks and moves so much like a human that it's almost unbelievable. We look forward to unveiling Optimus V3, um, you know, probably in Q1. I think it'll be ready for uh, to, to show off. And uh, that, that I think is going to be quite remarkable. Um, if you, you, it won't even seem like a robot. It'll seem like a person in a robot suit, which is kind of how we started off with Optimus. Um, but it, it'll seem so real that you'll need to like poke it, I think, to believe that it's actually a robot. This will be Tesla's first official commercial version next year. With this premium model, Optimus will be able to handle an entire range of tasks, roughly 3,000 useful tasks from simple to highly complex, essentially functioning like a fully capable household assistant. Cooking, cleaning, organizing, whatever you need, it can take over because Tesla has been training these abilities for more than a year. This version will also be deployed in several hospitals, and Optimus Gen 3 may even serve in roles similar to a surgical assistant or potentially a robotic surgeon in the future. Like Optimus will be an incredible surgeon, for example, um, and imagine if everyone had access to an incredible surgeon. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that this robot will be an invaluable assistant for busy people, taking care of household chores after work. In other words, Optimus is designed to give you your time back. Just imagine this. Within the 14 hours after activation, Optimus can clean the house, cook meals, mow the lawn, or fold your laundry. Yes, everything is done by the time you get home. From what we know, running continuously for 14 hours before needing a recharge is already impressive. However, Optimus will use more energy when doing tasks that require a lot of movement compared to stationary tasks. A 6 kilowatt hour battery pack isn't actually huge but it's enough to power its entire actuator system for that duration. Okay, what's truly surprising is how Optimus recharges. All this time we assumed charging would work like an electric car. You plug it in manually, but no, it's fully automatic. Yeah, it's way smarter than we initially thought. It's hard to believe, but Tesla Optimus can recharge itself without the user plugging anything in, just like the CyberCab. CyberCab automatically returns to a parking bay equipped with a wireless charging pad, where it charges itself completely on its own. When it comes to Optimus, the idea that you'd waste time manually plugging it in is basically pointless, because it can navigate, position itself, and automatically dock with a wall-mounted charger using its extended connector. This is the charging port Optimus aligns with on its own, and once it's fully charged, it disconnects and goes right back to work. That's exactly why no competitor can keep up with Tesla. This is a fully autonomous robot from start to finish. Honestly, we're wondering how long it'll take for Chinese robots to charge themselves maybe another 20 years. One of the standout features Elon Musk keeps mentioning is Optimus's ability to understand human body language. It's simple. Point at the fridge, and it'll grab food for you. Rub your stomach, and it knows you're hungry. That's when AI truly understands human habits. Optimus can interpret human intent through gestures, like pointing or signaling and translate that into an action based on its data models. This makes interactions smoother without needing to speak, especially for users who struggle with verbal communication. They can still command the Tesla bot using nothing more than gestures. And it's clear to all of us that recent breakthroughs in AI have pushed robots to unbelievable levels in just a few short years. Just scroll through a few videos on X, your first reaction is always, that's AI, right? Yeah, most of it looks real enough to be unsettling. Creative AI is really the key to what we can build for robots, especially humanoid robots. Robots are where AI finally meets the real world. It's like using ChatGPT. It can give you a recipe, but it can't cook the meal for you. You still have to go into the kitchen. But that's a completely different story if you own an Optimus. Elon has emphasized that the real difference between the Tesla bot and all the other humanoid robots we've seen comes down to the brain, the AI that runs these machines. 
Tesla is one of the leaders in real-world AI. They've already built a brain capable of driving a car, which is basically a robot on wheels. Now they're transferring that same technology into a robot with legs. People interested in owning an Optimus robot at home will have to wait until 2026, when mass production is expected to begin. Besides the wait, potential buyers should expect to spend anywhere from $30,000 to $50,000 depending on the version. Current estimates suggest that Optimus 3 will start around $40,000, basically the same price as a Model 3. Okay, real question. Would you buy a Model 3 or a Tesla bot? Drop a comment below. Elon Musk has repeatedly said that although the price seems high right now, it should drop over time as production scales. The goal is to make the robot more affordable and accessible to more people. According to Musk, once Tesla can build 1 million Optimus units per year, the final price could fall to around $20,000. Um, and then, as I've said before, I think w once we reach uh, about a million units per year uh, of sustained production or in excess of that, I think probably the cost of production uh, is around $20,000 in current year, current year dollars. With Tesla's best-in-class 4680 battery paired with a pack size optimized specifically for a humanoid robot, you're looking at something no other robot in the world currently offers. That's exactly why so many people are drawn to Optimus and eagerly waiting for its release. Just imagine putting one to work in a shop or small business. Your return could reach tens of thousands of dollars a year compared to your initial investment. Up to now, a lot of people still wonder why Tesla doesn't pour all its resources into electric vehicles, the very thing that made the company famous. Instead, Tesla keeps pushing forward with Optimus, a humanoid robot project that sparks a ton of debate. The truth is, the world is still a bit uneasy about human-shaped robots. Maybe it's because most of us struggle to believe a machine, especially one that sometimes moves like it's learning how to walk, could ever match human finesse and flexibility. And to be fair, human intelligence and capability are still the gold standard. Nothing truly replaces us, let alone surpasses us. Yet Elon Musk is still pouring billions of dollars into Optimus because he believes Tesla can build a robot with a brain and level of movement that comes closer to humans than anything we've ever seen. At this point, you might be picturing a Terminator scenario in your head. But flip that idea around for a second. What if a humanoid robot could actually become your reliable helper? The one that hands you a beer after work, preps your morning sandwich, or cleans the house without complaining. Suddenly, the whole picture looks very different. At 60, Everyone wishes they had a companion like this, and that's exactly what we're going to start seeing next year with Tesla Bot Gen 3. If you're tired of the same old boring chores over and over again, Tesla Bot Gen 3 is the one thing you'll actually want to buy next year. With a price finally under $20,000, Optimus is expected to generate roughly $2,000 a month by taking on a wide range of labor-intensive tasks. That means owners could recover their entire investment in less than a year and everything after that becomes long-term profit. Unlike human workers, Optimus doesn't need breaks, benefits, food, or rest, and it never complains. That's exactly why it's the perfect employee, durable, consistent, and incredibly cost-efficient for both businesses and households. Elon Musk often highlights Optimus's ability to do household chores, but its real value lies in being a multi-purpose worker. Picture a small restaurant, one robot taking orders, another preparing food, a third delivering dishes to tables, and another handling cleanup. The upfront cost sounds big, but once robots replace multiple staff positions, the payback period becomes extremely short. Within just a few months, a restaurant could run almost entirely on an automated robot system, cutting labor costs while boosting productivity. And it doesn't stop with food service. Optimus could work in factories, warehouses, hospitals, retail stores, and even as an at-home service robot through a rental model. This opens the door to an entirely new business, individuals buying robots and leasing them out for passive income, similar to Tesla's upcoming robo-taxi model. Owners could even list their robots on a shared platform, allowing Optimus to automatically accept jobs during downtime and bring in steady revenue. Financial analysts are already estimating the scale of this opportunity. Adam Jonas at Morgan Stanley suggests that if a robot earning the equivalent of $5 per hour can replace two workers earning $25 per hour, the net present value of a single robot could reach $200,000. A device that costs $20,000 but generates 10 times its value is a powerful investment case. If Tesla succeeds in mass-producing Optimus and integrating it into the labor economy, they won't just be selling robots, 
they'll be creating an entirely new economic ecosystem built on AI, robotics, and clean energy. Optimus could mark the beginning of an era where humans and machines generate wealth at a scale the world has never seen before. With a humanoid robot like Optimus, Tesla can't rely on any existing supply chain. There are no standard suppliers, no off-the-shelf components mass-produced for this kind of machine. That means Tesla has to design and manufacture almost every critical part themselves, from the actuators and control modules to the entire sensor architecture. This is a level of vertical integration almost no company on Earth has ever attempted, and only a business with Tesla's scale, experience, and manufacturing firepower could realistically take it on. But the engineering challenge is only half the story. The bigger and far more complicated issue is ensuring absolute safety for a machine that can think, move, and interact inside human living spaces. Optimus isn't just a mechanical device. It's an AI system that can observe, learn, and make decisions. That makes it an incredibly attractive target for cyber criminals in an era where digital security is more fragile than ever. If the robot's sensor data were stolen, if its control code were altered, or if its decision-making algorithms were compromised, the consequences wouldn't just be harmless glitches. They could directly put the people living or working with Optimus at risk. Imagine thousands of robots deployed across factories, hospitals, restaurants, and even individual homes. A single vulnerability in the system could let a malicious actor take control of that entire fleet, turning them into tools of disruption. A simple command like, fetch my medicine, could turn into a dangerous situation if the robot's input data is manipulated. To prevent that, Tesla is building a multi-layered security architecture. Fully encrypted data, real-time activity monitoring, AI firewalls to filter abnormal behavior, and emergency lockout modes that can trigger automatically if a breach is detected. Tesla is also standardizing remote control protocols, so humans can intervene instantly in any scenario that gets out of hand. However, the hardest challenge comes from Optimus's ability to learn. A humanoid robot doesn't behave like a fixed machine. It constantly adjusts its actions based on new experiences. That makes it incredibly difficult to prevent mislearning or block attackers from tampering with its training process. The smarter a robot becomes, the more sophisticated its protective systems must be, and that's why Tesla's AI development must go hand-in-hand -hand with machine ethics and cybersecurity. In short, Musk has made it clear. Optimus will only reach consumers when it meets an uncompromising standard of absolute safety. Okay, so what's the very first task you'd want Optimus to handle for you? Do you think Optimus will replace human jobs or simply make everyday life easier? Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next deep dive. And we'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop your answer in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.